channel. So today I am back with such an exciting video. I am going to be talking about my entire Terry Mugler collection. I have quite a few fragrances to go through. Mugler is definitely one of my favorite designer brands when it comes to fragrances. I just think that their perfumes are unique and one of a kind. I know that recently they got bought out by L'Oreal and I'm hoping that they stay just as unique and even better, okay? So I have a few fragrances that I completely adore. I have talked about them on my channel before, but I wanted to go through the entire collection on this particular video, and you guys have requested it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new, definitely subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Also turn your post notifications so that you are notified every single time I upload a video and follow me on Instagram. I also did create a Pinterest page, so I will link everything down below for you guys to check out. And let's go ahead and jump into this. Mugler has been around for a really, really long time. He has a ton of fragrances that are literally cult favorites. Every time there is a new release, it is something unique and something out of the ordinary, very mysterious and very different from all the other designer fragrances. And that's what I think makes this brand stand out the most is that they really give you quality and uniqueness with a more affordable price point because they're not categorized as niche whatsoever but the fragrances alone wow the one of the most popular fragrances from the house of Mugler which is Angel and this is the EDP I don't have this in my collection any longer I did wear this a lot between the ages of 18 to about 22, 23. This was my go-to signature fragrance. I love, loved this fragrance so much. And to be quite honest, I still really enjoy this perfume. It's a really heavy hitter fragrance. As soon as you walk into a room, everyone is going to notice you because that fragrance just like, it takes over the entire room. It's really heavy on patchouli. So if you don't like patchouli, you might not be uh, fond of this fragrance. And a lot of people stay away because of the patchouli note. But this is a really beautiful, sweet, kind of gourmandish fragrance. There are notes of caramel in this. There's also floral notes in here. There's chocolate notes in here. Patchouli, of course, and sandalwood in the dry down to kind of really ground this fragrance. It's really, really a one of a kind type of fragrance. It's one of those that when you smell, you know instantly that it is Angel and I definitely still like it. Now the EDT version is one that I got introduced to recently. I had a little sample of it. That one is a little bit more fresher. It's airier. Um, it's not so heavy when it comes to patchouli, uh, but it definitely still keeps the DNA of the original Angel. Don't have it in my collection. Do I want to add it to my collection? Yes. Now, the latest angel that I got is this flanker over here. There are a ton of angel flankers. I believe they come out with one every year or every other year. This is the latest one from 2019. This is your summer angel fragrance. It smells like a vacation. It's really beautiful, super coconutty, refreshing. I know there aren't any coconut notes in this fragrance, but when you smell it, you definitely get that vibe of like coconut, sunscreen, beach, vacation. It smells so good. It's one of those fragrances that is quite addictive to wear. And in my opinion, it is really bright. It's kind of mood uplifting. The packaging alone, you could definitely see that it's very one of those summery fragrances. And when you wear this, oh, it, it's so good. It definitely has like a gourmandish touch in this one too. Um, not super long lasting. It's nowhere close to the original a Angel when it comes to the lasting ability. This is an EDT. So the concentration is definitely lower, but I still love this fragrance so much. And it is a limited edition. So once it's done, it is gone. So get your hands on it while you can. 
it's a beautiful one i believe they did release a newer one called nova i don't have that one yet but i definitely want to check it out but this one was from 2019. so the next fragrance that i have here is aura and this is a beautiful creation from 2017. this is really unique honestly it's not your traditional girly sweet type of fragrances that a lot of uh designer brands create this is like in the niche realm it definitely has a bit of a unisex vibe to it but it it's still feminine in a way and uh, it smells so good like it's not for everyone i will say that this is not your safest blind buy unless you like those green type scents this to me smells a little fruity it smells like a green crisp apple in the opening it's very fresh and clean and sharp it has a little bit of this spiciness or bitterness to this fragrance i know there is rhubarb notes in here there's also sandalwood in here there's orange blossom which i think gives it a little bit of a sweeter feminine touch but it is a really unique scent it's very potent and super long lasting on my skin and it's one of those that i reserve for special occasions for sure this is not one that i'm gonna wear just like i'm going to the grocery store <laughs> this is one that i like for like date nights or a meeting it's definitely one that's going to pro project confidence and um it's just it's beautiful it's it's a very very unique scent if you like your green note scents this is a really nice option again it has a little bit of a sharpness to it a little bitter uh it's green for sure but it has some elements of sweetness but more on the unisex vibe on my skin at least and it's it's unique it's so unique really really hard to describe but i really I really like this one a lot. The Alien All Extraordinaire. This is your summertime alien fragrance. It was created in 2014. And this is alien, but in a very light, airy, citrusy, bright way. It's really appropriate for summertime, very refreshing and very casual. So you can wear it during the day or during the evening. And it is just a really pretty fragrance. You definitely still get the... Oh yes you definitely still get the dna of alien with that jasmine heavy hitter but you also have these beautiful citrusy notes in there there's neroli i believe there's bergamot in here and it just smells really pleasant to wear very classy and casual and it's just an everyday type of scent. If you find Ellie a little too heavy, this is a really nice option. This is an EDT and I will be honest and say it's not super long lasting. So I definitely over spray this fragrance when I wear it. But for super hot days, this works beautifully on my skin let's talk about the original alien this was created in 2005 so alien has been around for years and still it's one of the most popular fragrances out there almost everyone has this in their collection it is a really beautiful unusual unique type of scent it's quite sensual and sexy perfect for date night this creation doesn't have a ton of notes in there but just those specific three notes create magic so there is jasmine in here there's cashmere wood and there's white amber so very very little notes but it just grabs your attention now i will say the first time you smell alien you might be like me where i just I didn't know how to pinpoint this. I didn't know what vibe it was giving me. It's quite an unusual type of scent in the beginning. But then you get more of that jasmine and a little of that amber. And it becomes this very beautiful, warm, sensual scent. Now, there are speculations that the fragrance has been reformulated. I don't know that to be true. I did reach out to the brand and they told me that it hasn't been reformulated. So I don't know. I still find this really beautiful and definitely worth 
definitely worth having in your collection. This is like your sensual, sexy, little black dress type of fragrance for sure. It's very alluring, perfect, perfect fragrance for the evening time. And it's just, oof, it's sensual. It's sensual. You need her in your life. So next up we have a flanker of Angel and this is Angel Muse. This is definitely one of my favorite gourmand fragrances for the winter time. It is absolutely stunning. The first time I tried this out I was, I was blown away blown away this will give you angel dna all the way they didn't take it out of this fragrance whatsoever they just added a few more elements that created this warmer a lot more chocolatey fragrance the patchouli in this is still quite heavy so a lot of people stay astray from this but you can get the edt version which is a lot more toned down it's a lot fresher and airier I like this one because it's richer, it's bolder, and patchouli, I like patchouli. Oh, this fragrance. If you don't have this one, get it. If you don't like patchouli, get the EDT, but I love this fragrance. So the opening is very spicy. It has pink pepper in here and grapefruit and the heart of this is where all the gourmand notes there are hazelnut cream there's cacao in here also smells a little like praline but i know there's no praline in this one i believe there is rose in this fragrance and then the dry down is where you get your patchouli and i believe vetiver so it is gourmand but very rich has a lot of texture and has a lot of oomph this is stunning it is one of those that projects really nicely on me it a little goes a long way i don't need to over spray this fragrance and it smells yummy yummy but in a, a little bit more sophisticated way i don't find this fragrance super like ooh, sweet sugar no it's like grounded and rich because of those base notes in there it smells so so good it's one of my favorites for the winter time absolutely favorite next up we have another one of my favorite uh winter fragrances this is alien essence absolute it is a flanker from alien <sighs> Stunning, stunning fragrance. I still cannot comprehend why this was discontinued, but you can't find it in like department stores or Sephora anymore. You can find it online, but going into a store to smell it, you just cannot find it. I love this fragrance and I definitely prefer it over Alien. I still love Alien, but this is like, this is on a whole other level. It's super refined and sophisticated. It's warm. It's inviting. It's still sensual. This was created in 2012. So it is a fragrance that's been around for quite a long time. And I feel like a lot of people really love this fragrance. So I'm kind of surprised why they discontinued it because it's not, I don't think it's one that just sat on the shelves. I do believe this sold really well. So I'm really, really surprised by that. I have this bottle and I already have a backup because I just, I really, really love this scent. Oh. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. So this one has like vanilla notes in here. There's myrrh in here. There's incense. There's animalic notes. It's very unique also you definitely get a little of that jasmine dna from the original alien even though when i look it up it doesn't tell me there's jasmine in here but i still get that kick of the dna from the original alien but this one is just a little more grown a little more sophisticated and still quite mysterious and sensual um warm and spicy it is gorgeous it's a gorgeous scent for colder months especially evening mm, it is beautiful 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 this is new to my collection i snagged her up quite recently and this is alien oud majestic something like that i'm gonna link it up here i'm probably butchering it you guys you guys bear with me please okay <laughs> this is uh, 
a very different type of alien. Let me put it there. She is potent. She is definitely Udi Middle Eastern vibes for sure. This was created in 2017 and I believe this one is discontinued also or it was limited edition I believe but I went ahead and snagged her up because I mean it's limited edition. I really wanted to get a feel for it. This fragrance, let me spray it right here. When you spray this scent, the opening is quite off-putting. I will not lie to you. The opening has this very like barnyard manure type of scent. It, it like I'm not even exaggerating. I remember I was watching Paulina's video and she talks about the opening of this fragrance, and I was like, really? Like, what? How, why does it open like that? And when you spray this on the skin, that is initially what you are going to get. So you really need to go past the opening into the dry down to appreciate this fragrance because the opening alone is very off-putting. You let that kind of dry down. Give it a few minutes and then you will get the kick of jasmine, saffron, and the oud accords in this fragrance. On my skin... You get a little of the jasmine in there throughout the entire day, but the most predominant notes is definitely the oud accord. This is very oudy, but it is not a super heavy, dense oud. It's quite suave. Um, it definitely leans a little more unisex, in my opinion. So it's not a fragrance that I will pull out super often. It is one that has to have a particular occasion. It's a fragrance that I will say is not the safest blind buy unless you're really into unisex, Middle Eastern, Udi type of scents. If you're into that and you can snag this up online, then go for it. But if you like more of your traditional alien, they're very different. They're very, very different. If you like the Essence Absolute, they're very different. This is a different type of alien. Again, Udi, unisex, quite potent, um, very, very long lasting and projects quite loud. Like I don't need to spray this too much to get that attention that I'm seeking sometimes. <laughs> this is going to do it for you. So guys, that is it for this video. That is my entire Mugler collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now I do want to try out Alien uh, Sublime, I believe it is, and Alien Futura. I really want to try those two. There is another alien that was a limited edition. I think it was called We Are Alien. The bottle looks absolutely stunning and I would love, love to get my hands on that. I am planning to add the original Angel and the Angel EDT into my collection. Um, Angel EDP because I have so many memories behind that fragrance and I just want to be able to hold it up to my nose and reminisce and then the EDT because I actually really like that fragrance and want to wear it for the summertime so those are two that I want to add back to my collection very soon and I know that Mugla does have a private blend type of uh, collection that I want to play around with soon hopefully soon when the stores let us play around with more fragrances but that is it guys i hope you enjoyed it again definitely leave your comments down below let me know which one is your favorite which one do i need to add to my collection maybe i missed a few here and i will see you on the next one ciao